From early on, Boone seemed to have a lot in common with his grandfather Brock and his father Houdini. The first of Boone's personality traits I noticed was his unusually bold nature. Baby mink are naturally cautious to downright fearful of water. They typically take their time slowly warming up to the idea of swimming. Boone, however, showed some significant confidence with water quite early on. The first few days of being introduced to the pond, he was afraid of the water, just like a typical mink kid. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he just dove in and started having fun. Good job. Good job, Boone. Good swim. He's big. He's a big boy. Look at him. He went down under water. We were all pretty excited to see Boone all of a sudden swimming around like he'd been doing it his whole life. But I think Olive was by far the most excited of all of us. Look at him, he's just looking yeah. under the water. He's so confident. Look, it's a fun! Look, oh, good everyone. job, little man. Good job. Look at you swimming. Good job, Boone. Oh, careful. <laughs> Keep doing Be careful. Just sit still. You can do it. Just sit still. Look, here he comes. Good job, Mr. Boone. He's so big. He's so big. He, he needs to get a man and I can do it. We need to put some fish in here for him. He's looking for the fish. Look at him. He's looking for the fish. 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 He's looking for I love when they look into the rushing water like that. Give me some water. He's searching so good. Hey, okay. I would rather you don't put your mouth down in the water like that, Olive. The water's not super clean, sweet girl. Olive, Olive, don't do that. Don't do the bubbles part of the mink. You want to do bubbles like the mink? Are you trying to dive under like the mink? Wee! He's right in my mouth! Did he give you a bait towel? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, he's stuck. We should take his leash off. He's so funny. Oh. Did he get you? Is he giving you bait towels? Mm -hmm. oh, don't hold him. Let him swim. No, you can hold him gently, but don't force him. Ow! He scratched me! He got on now. He tastes yummy. Hey! He's just taking all my eggs! He's getting yeah, He's like, oh, I'll get you. I'll get you. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Daddy! Daddy! Oh, wow. Look how deep he's going. Look at that. Wow, that's Oh, he went all the way down to the bottom. Look at that. Last time I went to in the bottom. I made an effort to socialize Boone with my whole family, as it was my hope that he would create a bond with all of us instead of only me like most of the mink I raise. However, I fully realize that even with the best efforts, it's quite common for mink to pick a favorite human and despise everyone else. We call mink who do this exclusive because they exclusively like only one person. Becoming exclusive is a combination of individual personality as well as how you raise the mink. No matter how much effort you make, you can't prevent a mink who's prone to become exclusive from becoming that way. However, if you get just the right mink and raise it just the right way, you might end up with a mink who likes everyone. But finding a mink like this is honestly more luck than skill. So even though I knew I may not help, I still put forth my best efforts to help Boone create a bond with everyone in my family, rather than with just myself. So far he hasn't shown any signs of becoming exclusive, and I was going to do my best to keep it that way. Hey, 
Be gentle, be gentle. Hey, it's right in my back. He's gentle, me. Hey, hey, this is like his, this is like his snake. Hey, watch him now. Look, I'm a little mink. I'm a mommy mink. You got look, mommy mink? Look, I just like a mommy mink. Oh, he's got the feather. Oh. So today we're going to be doing Boone's very first fishing. He is, what, 12 and a half weeks old today. So he's plenty old enough. This should be pretty easy for him. Even though he's not experienced with catching fish, he has swam in the pond quite a bit. And he's mature enough that this should be pretty simple. But we'll see how it goes. We're going to leave the leash on him so we have control and make sure he caches. Um, and that will slow him down a bit, but it shouldn't be enough to make it difficult. So we've got a couple little fish in here. Let's uh, let's see how he does. Check out what we got. Come on, come check out what we got. Look at this. It's a little fish. One hour later. Two hours later. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Look at this. What's that? What's that? There you go. Now he's interesting. Where'd, Where'd they go? There's just one right there, right behind me. There you go, nice chase out. in a crawfish hole five conch poker on a saturday night church on sunday morning get a line i get a pole we'll go fishing down in a five conch poker on a saturday night church on sunday morning This is way more than he'll eat. This is just, we want to make sure he eats all of this and not the fish. So I'm going to give him a ton of meat. That's a mixture of brown rat and muskrat. And we're going to give him way more than he can eat. That way he doesn't eat the fish. So it took him a minute to figure out what we were doing, but once he caught on, he was he was on to it. And those fish were super easy, and yet he still struggled a little bit. You can see his inexperience. But he caught them, put them in the box, that was great. And you can see the great advantage we have with this pool, being able to have really shallow, super easy to catch places. 
medium level and hard. And it's great to be able to switch from level to level based on the experience and age of the mink. So we'll, uh, we'll show you more next time and I'm excited to see his progress as he learns and grows. Thanks for watching.